The Dennis O'Keefe Show. Starring Dennis O'Keefe. In All Around Town. Also starring Hope Emerson. Ricky Kelman, Eloise Hart, Eddie Ryder. Is Mr. Town in? Yes. Would you please tell him that Paula Hamilton would like to see him immediately? Immediately? Oh, I, I certainly will, Miss Hamilton. <laughs> Hal, put on your coat. You know, what for? I'm quite comfortable the way I am. You can't let her see you in your shirt sleeves? That would never do. You can't let who see me in my shirt? Up, up, up. Oh, this coat needs a pressing. We just don't have time. Well, uh, Elliot, right here. What are you so panicked about? Now, please, all oh, that time. Well, what's the matter with it? Who's out there, Elliot? The Queen of England? Paula Hamilton. Paula Hamilton? Well, what's that social butterfly doing around here? I don't know, but it must be important. Anyone whose father owns a steamship line in half of New York didn't come here to pass the time of day. Well, if you don't mind, Elliot, would you just please go tell her that I'm out? Tell her that I've left, that I'm, I'm out riding to the hounds. That ought to do it. <laughs> oh, Hal, you can't just slough off Paula Hamilton. Her dog's listed in who's who. Was that so? Well, as far as I'm concerned, Paula Hamilton is simply a selfie, spoiled millionaires who ought to be... Hello, Miss Hamilton. <laughs> Who ought to be what, Mr. Town? E, well, who ought to be shown right in? Elliot, why didn't you tell me that Mr. Hamilton... Town, how dare you print in your column that I am engaged to Webley Roberts IV? Well, it just so happens that that's what Webley told me. And that ten-carat engagement ring that he gave you made me somehow think that you might be more than just pen pals. I gave him that ring back. I wouldn't marry that supercilious polo monkey if he were the last man on earth. Oh, and so another Romeo bites the dust. Let me see, Miss Hamilton, is that the sixth engagement you've broken this year, or maybe it's the seventh? I didn't come here to discuss my personal life with you, Mr. Town. Now, you either retract that item, or my father will deal with you, and you might just end up with no column at all. Oh, Miss Hamilton, you never should have tried to intimidate me. Evidently, you're not aware of how powerful my father is. Oh, yes, I am. Yes, I know how powerful your father is. I know how influential he is. I know how successful he's been at everything that he's ever tried except raising a daughter. He should have given you fewer yachts and more spankings. And it's about time that you learned that there's more to life than dancing to Lester Lannan. Nobody's ever spoken to me like that before. Not even my father. All the men I know are so wishy-washy. When Paula walked into that office, the temperature dropped about 30 degrees. I had to get out, Karen. I had to get out. I couldn't stand to watch the slaughter. Don't count our boy out yet, Elliot. This time, Hal's boyish charm met its match in Paula Hamilton. I find that hard to believe. Anyway, tell Hal that I'm available for lunch in case Paula hasn't put in her bid. Paula Hamilton and Hal going to lunch together? Hmm? <laughs> That is as far-fetched as me being another Cary Grant. We're going out to lunch, Elliot. <laughs> Elliot? Elliot, are you still there? Karen, I've got one thing to say. How's a better man than I am, Gunga Dean? <laughs> well, Elliot, if he does come back to the office, will you please tell him that Randy and I are waiting for him for dinner? Yes. Well, all right. You know, Elliot says he hasn't heard from your father since he left for lunch with Paula Hamilton. Lunch? You sure must be a slow eater. <laughs> Imagine your father out with one of the richest women in the world. She is? Uh-huh. Well, I hope Dad plays it smart and lets her pick up the check. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so mercenary. <laughs> well... Okay, okay, hold your fire. I know I'm late, but I demand a jury trial. Hi, Dad. Hi, Randy. Uh, Randy, this is Miss Hamilton. Hi, Miss Hamilton. Oh, you shouldn't shake hands with ladies, dear. Just gentlemen. Oh. Ah, uh, you... <laughs> in that case, how do you do? <laughs> uh, and, and this is Sarge. How do you do? How do you do, Miss Hamilton? Uh, Randy, we had lunch on Miss Hamilton's yacht. 
Cruised up and down the coast all afternoon. It was just great. Gee, you on a yacht? Yes, dear. Oh, my, somebody forgot to comb his hair. Is it? Well, <laughs> yes, it, uh, it just won't stay combed, will it, fella? <laughs> Have you had dinner, Henry? Uh, no, no, we haven't. Uh, Paula wanted to meet my family, so I invited her to eat with us. Well, I don't know what kind of shape the lamb chops are in. They've been ready for a half hour. Oh, they'll be fine. Oh, will you taste the cookie? You allow her to call you Henry? Well, sure, sure. It's my real name. Well, isn't that a little presumptuous of a housekeeper? Oh, Sarge isn't a housekeeper. She's part of the family. Yes, yeah, very important part, too. Well, I, I guess we better sit down. Sarge always likes us to be ready when she serves. Doesn't Sarge bake the greatest apple pie you ever tasted? Mmm, delicious. <laughs> well, if you think this is good, you ought to try a pineapple upside down cake. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> Randy, when I was a little girl, I was always taught that children should not speak unless they're spoken to. Well, uh, don't you feel that that was overdoing it a little? Oh, not at all. If a child isn't properly disciplined at an early age, he might get out of hand. Oh, well, I, I'm all for discipline, but, uh, well, here we kind of feel that the dining table is a good place for the family to hear each other out. I like Randy to express himself. Oh, absolutely. But there is a proper time and place for it. May I make another observation? Well, sure. A little gentleman like Randy should never come to the dinner table without his tie and jacket on. Well, Randy usually wears a tie and jacket when we have company, but we didn't know that you sorry, were coming. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, Henry. Should I put a tying coat on, Dad? Oh, no, of course not, Randy. I shouldn't have interfered. I'd like to be excused. I want to go into the kitchen and compliment Sarge on her dinner. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. she'd like that. I don't think she likes me. Oh, sure she does, Randy. It's just that she's not used to our informal way of living. Give it time. I'm glad you enjoyed your dinner, Miss Hamilton. Oh, how so right. When it comes to cooking, you have no peer. May I be frank with you for a moment? Being a widower, Hal's given you a free reign in running the house. And I've done a good job, if I do say so. I'm sure you have. But, but you mustn't forget that you're employed by Mr. Town, and you shouldn't take advantage of your position. Take advantage? Oh, like calling him Henry. Serving without wearing the proper uniform, it's really not fair to him. Well, now, I'm sure that Henry doesn't object. I mean, Mr. Town. But he might, you see, in the future. Because I am going to introduce him to the right people. And how will be entertaining them in his home. No, I know you don't want to embarrass him in front of his friends by your little informality. Hey, what's going on out here? Oh, Sarge and I were just getting acquainted. Oh, good, good. Well, darling, we're going to be late. Wally and Babs will be waiting for us at the club. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Good night, Sarge. Good night. Good night, Randy, dear. I've got a hunch you're going to be seeing a lot more of Paula. <laughs> oh, Karen, you've just got to speak to Henry and tell him Miss Hamilton is no good for him. He'll listen to you. Not in this case, Sarge. If I start criticizing Paula Hamilton, how will think it's sour grapes. Yeah, but this is war. Look, I don't like the idea of being knocked out of the box by Paula, but what can I do? Well, I'm not sticking around any place where I don't have freedom of speech. <laughs> I think I'll run away. And I'll run away with you. Let's not desert the ship yet. Hal's just dazzled by high society. He'll soon discover he's on the wrong planet and come back to Earth. And we'll all be in business again. Convinced? Good. Now convince me. <laughs>
Angela Hamilton, society's outstanding bachelor girl, draw number at gala charity raffle at April in Paris Ball. How come they always call that a friend? Probably because they've never seen his face before. <laughs> Sarge, do you think running around with Miss Hamilton and her society friends is gonna change Dad? Oh, of course not. Your father's much too level-headed to... Strike out that answer. <laughs> Do you really think so? I don't like it at all, my countess. What do you think, Hal? Hal? Hmm? Oh, oh, we're very pretty. We're talking about the dress, darling, not the model. Don't <laughs> He said. Lord Haverstock was saying that the weather here reminds him of the Riviera. Don't you agree? E well, I don't know. You see, I've never been there. <laughs> Is that a fact? Yeah. Mr. Town, do you play polo? Uh, no, no, I don't. You don't? Did I say something wrong? It's all right, darling. <laughs> That's nothing for me. Oh, yes, this time I'm with you, Lord Haverstock. <laughs> Lord Haverstock was asking you a question, darling. Yes, and I think I answered him. <laughs> His lordship asked if you would like to play billiards. He did. Yes, I'll take you on for a game or two. Well, I'm busy, I mean, I just warn you, I'm one of the best million pairs of Mrs. Johnny who took along. I think you better come along with us. I may need an interpreter. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Forgive me, Paula, but I must be frank. Your Mr. Town is a misfit. Well, I agree, Viscountess. He's even beginning to bore me. Then why are you wasting so much time with him? I'm not wasting time. I am building Mr. Town up for a very big letdown. I'm afraid I don't follow you, dear. Well, from the day I met Howtown, he's aggravated me, playing the superior, self-righteous man. I decided there and then to inflate his ego like a balloon and then pop it. <laughs> Why doesn't Hal stay on his own side of the tracks? Karen, let's not be a poor loser. A poor loser? Hal's the only one that's going to lose in this deal. I wouldn't call marrying a girl of the upper strata of society losing. Paula has no intentions of marrying Hal any more than she had of marrying Webley Roberts the fourth, Philip Lawson Thomas the third, or Aubrey Thornton the second. He hasn't got a chance. He hasn't even got a number. Karen, you're so wrong. Get out, oh, Karen. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Um, same old Karen, huh? Always kidding. Oh, was I kidding? I thought I was being snide. How was your ride this morning? Oh, fine, fine. Paula says I'm sitting a horse much better these days. Bully for you. Oh, say, any news about your membership in the Regency Club? Yeah, well, no, nothing definite as yet, but uh, Paula assures me that, uh, well, it'll come through. You're being accepted at the Regency Club? Well, that's the most exclusive club in New York. Even the Dorman's ancestors outrank mine. Well, I admit I'm quite flattered even being considered, but it, uh, it just goes to show you what can happen when you mingle with the right kind of people. Well, speaking of mingling, how would you like to mingle with a poor but honest press agent at lunch? I'd love it. Uh, am I clear, Elliot? Oh, let's see him. Oh, afraid not, huh? You have a luncheon with Paula and the Viscountess at the Yacht Club. Oh, of course, yes. Uh, tomorrow? No, you have a luncheon with Lord Haverstock. Who? Oh, Haverstock, yeah. How about Thursday? The Hunt Club brunch. Oh, mustn't miss that. Well, I'm the patient type. Pencil me in for next October. See you in the social column. <laughs>
Elliot. Yes. Karen has changed. Hi, Sarge. Hi, Randy. Sorry I'm late. The game was called on account of darkness at the end of the first inning. The first inning? Yeah. We couldn't get anybody out. Where's Dad? Oh, he's in there trying on another outfit. What kind of outfit? Uh, I don't know. He brought it in in a suit box. Say, go on in and tell him dinner's ready. I would, but I don't think I can stand the shock of what he's got on. <laughs> Yoinks and tally ho. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Lady Sensterwall. Jolly good morning for a hunt, what? <laughs> Yoinks and tally ho. <laughs> Oh, hi. I was uh, just trying out my fox hunting outfit. <laughs> Henry, we're worried about you. Worried about me? Yes, the way you've changed. Me? Changed? Oh, ridiculous. Well, you're no fun anymore. All you think about now are fox hunts and garden parties. Or well, whether or not you're going to become a member of the Regency Club. They don't mean a thing to me. Take them or leave them. Especially the Regency Club. Couldn't care less. As far as I'm concerned, it's just another club. Hello. Oh, Elliot, yes. <laughs> well, I was just telling Sarge that I didn't care whether they... They did. They accepted me? I made it. I made it. I imagine me, a member of the most exclusive club this side of uh, Buckingham Palace. Congratulations, Dad. Yeah, congratulations. Joy, do you realize that the members are all old money, that their ancestors date back to Peter Minuit? Who's Peter Minuit? He's the old money that shortchanged the Indians for Manhattan Island. Uh, of course, I'll have to get a chauffeur. Never do for me to drive my own car up the club. It wouldn't. Oh, no. No, they, they frown on that sort of thing. And Randy, we're going to have to find a nice private school for you. Private school? <laughs> oh, Dad. Really, Henry. Sarge. Sarge, do we have any finger bowls? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> dreamed it would affect him this way. Chauffeur's finger bowls, oh brother. And now I've got to worry about a cocktail party he's giving tonight to celebrate his membership in the Regency Club. Who's he invited? Oh, the Viscountess, what's her name, and Lord Haver something, and a few relatives of Peter Minuit. Well, you can count me out. I'm resigning from the family. That makes two of us. It does, huh? Nobody's resigning. You're both going to be at that party, and you're both going to act exactly as Paula wants. You know, I'll draw a little man. A gun, an elephant gun, this is powerful, very hard on the shoulder and all that. Oh, thank you, my good man. And, uh, and, uh, when you when, when the children all in bed and all that sort of stuff <laughs> and, and that was the end of it <laughs> oh. <sighs> yeah all well, very funny yeah. oh i don't see anything funny in the fact that lord harverstock's brother was trampled in an elephant stampede he was trampled in an elephant oh oh well i'm i'm terribly sorry your lordship i thought you'd made a joke joke Nothing funny about an elephant, my good man. No, 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 of course not. Uh, I, I just misunderstood you. Sometimes, Hal, 
I just don't know about you. You will. Can I help it if there's a language barrier between us? I'll mingle with the guests, and I'll try to explain you to his lordship. Explain me. Viscountess, I see you've already met my son, Randy. How you doing, boy? I'm enjoying myself immensely, Peter. <laughs> Peter? You all right? I feel quite splendid, thank you. Randy's just been telling me how much he detests the public school he attends. He does? I mean, you do? Yes, Peter. I deplore those uncouth youngsters. I prefer a private school where I can mingle with my own set. Your own set? Randy's quite right. You should be terribly proud of your son. You, well, right at this moment, I'm not quite sure he is my son. <laughs> Charming youngster. Uh, uh, would you mind lighting my cigarette? Oh, oh, no. No, thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry if I can... I dare, sir. sir. Sarge, what's the matter with you? What are you doing? I beg your pardon, sir, but I prefer you call me Amelia. Sarge is so gauche. Oh. Now, if you'll excuse me, sir. Sarge, Sarge, you come back here. Oh, I, I beg your pardon, madam. I'm telling oh, That's quite all right. Callan, what are you doing here? Well, I'm having a marvelous time, darling. Simply marvelous. Oh, there's my dear friend, Bunny Finsterball. Bunny Dolly. <laughs> Hold on. How much longer are you going to keep us in suspense? We're all waiting for the balloon to pop. Pop, pop, yes. Balance the we know that one. Pop. I intend to right now. I can hardly wait to see the look on Mr. Town's face when he finds out he's not only being dropped by us, but that he never had a chance of being accepted by the Regency Club. Well, shall we end the suspense? How, darling? I have something to tell you. Mm, no. Uh, what is it, Paul? There's something you should know about your membership in the Regency Club. Oh, well, I'm glad you mentioned that, Polly. You see, um, I don't want to join the Regency Club. What? what? You don't want to join the Regency Club. No, 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 no. Now, you see. Uh, tonight, two people that love me very much. Well, I guess you can make that three people. Went to a lot of trouble to show me just what kind of a silly snob I was turning into. Oh, joining the Regency Club's all right. Riding to the hounds, and for that matter, having a lot of money. It's all just great. So long as you realize that you're a human being and treat others as if it might be just possible that they were too. Now, just a That's minute. That's your trouble, Paula, and all your friends. You're not real class, you're just a bunch of phonies. You're a lot of insincere, selfish, snide snobs. You don't care about anyone except yourselves. And that's why I can't join the Regency Club. Because I'd have to take you along in the bargain. <laughs> Bully for you! Here you are! You know that's the first thing you've ever said that I understood? <laughs> it's the first thing I've said that's been worth understanding. Well, I've never been so insulted in all my life. Get out of here. <laughs> Smashing. Smashing. What did he say? He said he's been trying to tell you to do this for the last two weeks. Oh. I didn't know you were a linguist. <laughs> Good to have everything back to normal, isn't it? Oh, it's marvelous, darling. Simply marvelous. Oh, yes, Peter. Indeed it is, Peter. Oh, now cut that out. <laughs> Your mulligan stew, sir. <laughs> Play, uh, 